Hello and welcome to my channel, I Went to Lose Gaming. Patch 2.1 has released one of the best free to play weapons, the catch. Many have been asking how to get the catch, and that is a really good question. So if you are ready to subject yourself to the torture of fishing and to optimize farming for the catch, then this is the video for you. For the last 10 hours, I have been doing nothing but fishing. Let me bestow upon you everything you need to do. The first thing you need to do is to talk to Mondstadt, Catherine, and finish the fishing tutorial. After that, catch 9 medakas to unlock all types of bait, which you purchase from this guy. First, I highly recommend making a couple hundred of each type of bait, perhaps 300 of the fruit bait. Keep in mind that when you craft bait, you get 10 baits per craft, so crafting this 10 times gives you 100 baits. Before continuing, the tips and stuff in this video are purely from my observations. Please take everything with a giant grain of salt. I could be wrong about some of the mechanics and details, so please keep that in mind. Next, let's talk about fishing technique. Each bait corresponds with certain types of fish. For all the smaller Medaka reskins, you want the fruit paste bait. For these barracuda looking pointy fish, you want the red draught bait. Next, for all types of angelfish reskins, you'll need the false worm bait. And last but not least, the fake fly bait is used on both the kois and the puffer fish. Now let's continue to become a master angler. To effectively catch fish, you can't willy-nilly throw the proper type of bait at them, but instead you need to space the bait carefully. If you throw the bait too close to the fish, they will freak out and they'll run around like a fish out of water. While they're in freak out mode, they will not take any bait, so you need to wait until the fish has calmed down. So how do you actually bait the fish properly? You want to throw the bait in the sweet spot, close to the fish, but not close enough to scare it. You can also throw the bait ahead of the fish and they may swim into the bait and thus grab it. Now after the fish grabs it, you just gotta keep the cursor in the box and you'll catch the fish. I hope you like the letter I because you're gonna be staring at this a lot. Next is to understand the fish display limit hypothesis. Some fishing spots may have a 4 fish display limit, others may have 5. Most of them have a 4 fish display limit from my observations. This fishing spot has a 5 fish display limit, but 7 total fish. So if you catch a fish, the 6th fish will spawn in. If you catch a second fish, the seventh fish will spawn in. And if you catch a third fish, no more fish will spawn in. To my understanding, you can stop catching the fish once you've gone under the maximum fish count by one, assuming there are no more of the type of fish you're trying to catch. However, if you want to be safe, you can catch all of them. Lastly, there is a spawn group for both daytime fish and a spawn group for nighttime fish. Basically, for every single spot that you plan to fish at, you should check it both during the daytime and at the nighttime. Some fish also exclusively spawn during the nighttime and perhaps during the daytime as well, but I'm not sure if I've noticed any fish spawn only during the daytime. Then you apply the previous knowledge that you've gained and you fish until no more fish respawn and you are one under the fish display limit. As for how often the fish respawn, I'm not entirely sure yet, but it's definitely not very quickly. Perhaps a day at minimum and three days at maximum. But as of making this video, which is one day after this patch was released, my world has not respawned any fish yet. So now that you're a master angler, let's take a look at how to get the catch. The catch is obtained from this Inazuma fishing location person right here. As you can see, you need six Rai Mei angelfish, 20 golden koi, 20 rusty koi for the catch. Then 
you need four Akko Sake vessels. Each of these provide a refinement to the catch to bring it up to refinement 5. And each Akko Sake vessel requires three Raimei Angel Fish, 10 Puffer Fish, and 10 Bitter Puffer Fish. Let's tally up everything that you need to catch for the catch. 18 Raimei Angel Fish, 20 Golden Koi, 20 Rusty Koi, 40 Puffer Fish, and 40 Bitter Puffer Fish. In total, that is 138 fish just for the catch. So let's go ahead and familiarize ourselves with where these fish are. The first fish to note is the Raimei Angel Fish. These ones are located out in the middle of nowhere in some electro water. I highly recommend taking the Wave Rider from this waypoint over to this fishing location. Also, these fish can only be caught at night, so adjust your clock accordingly. Each world has roughly 3 to 5 of them, for around 4 on average per world. You'll need about 4 to 5 worlds worth of Raimei Angelfish to get the 18 Raimei Angelfish required. The next couple of fishes are the Kois. Here are the location for the Kois. Kois are fairly abundant and you'll want to target catching 20 of each of them. I managed to catch 20 of each of them in 3 worlds worth of fish. While time consuming, these Koi fish are not the bottleneck. And next we have the puffer fish. In case you don't remember, we need 40 of each type of puffer fish. That's right, 40 of them. There are two locations to catch puffer fish in Mondstadt, which have both types of puffer fish in them. There are two locations in Li Yue, with each location having only one type of puffer fish. The bitter puffer fish in this northern location, and the regular puffer fish in the southern location. And finally, we have three puffer fish locations in Inazuma, one with both types of puffer fish right here at this dock. One over here near this waypoint with only bitter puffer fish, and one over at the new island with regular puffer fish. So after spending an hour catching all the fish in my world, how many puffer fish did I get? 20? 10? No. I got 4. That's right, my entire world had just 4 of them. Once I saw this, I knew I was in for a world of pain. Looking at the bitter puffer fish description, which says that they are a rare puffer fish variant. No. Just no. The thing that's actually the most bitter here is me. By the 7th or so world, I stopped visiting the bitter pufferfish spot in Li Yue, since I had already gotten 40 of them. And the only reason I have more than 40 of these bitter ones is because I catch them just in case they are a regular pufferfish. I am red-green colorblind, and these two dumb pufferfishes look almost identical to each other, so I catch them all just to be safe. After begging all my friends and family to steal their fish, 13 worlds later, and 10 hours later as well, but with plenty of breaks and doing other stuff, I finally caught 40 regular puffer fish. And my reward? This amazing free-to-play 4-star weapon at Refinement 5. This video unfortunately won't be a full review on the catch, but here you can see it in all its glory. The catch is a better weapon for Raiden than pretty much all the other free-to-play options, but it's a noticeably worse weapon for Raiden than the engulfing lightning. So here is my advice towards fishing. Unless you're in a rush like me to get the catch to refinement 5 in order to showcase it, just take your time. For the first few runs, focus on catching pufferfish, koi, and raimei angelfish. Once you hit 20 of each koi and 18 raimei angelfish, start to visit the 7 pufferfish spots over and over. As I mentioned earlier, I started skipping the bitter pufferfish spot when I got 40 of them by world 7. So there you go. I drove myself insane to get this weapon to refinement 5, and I figured I'd confer my knowledge to you guys. Hopefully, this helps you plan your approach towards farming the catch. What I can say about the catch is that the catch for the catch is that you need to catch all the puffer fish that you can catch. Also, I regularly make Genshin Impact videos ranging from Caesar showcases, DPS showdowns, guide videos, and more. So be sure to smash the subscribe button as it's the best and easiest way for you to support my work. Also, don't forget to like the video and leave a comment for the YouTube algorithm. Huge thanks to everyone that helped me out by letting me steal all your fish. If you're one of those people, you know who you are. So, thank you. As always, I appreciate every single one of you. This is I Went to Lose, signing out. <laughs>